I don't, I, I'm so awkward about telling people to subscribe to my YouTube, but it would probably benefit me if I did it. All right, we got Falco Sheik, Dreamland. Sheik's gonna have a lot of room to move around. We cannot overspam lasers. Sheik's gonna be very good at dodging them. We're gonna take a little bit of laser damage. That's really good. I, as you can see, me not getting that laser out meant I did get punished there. Oh. Try to dodge. Oh, barely uh, didn't get around that. That's okay. Sheik not DIing our... Uh, Oh my. Not DIing our, uh... Oh, our little bit of a rollback hit. Again, not DIing up throw gonna lead to some punishes there, like what I was trying to say before. You can kind of see a habit coming out here. Let's we'll go for forward smash. We did down tilt earlier. We're gonna just un try to unstale some other moves. There's our F tilt. I was worried about that coming out. This one looking out for F tilt. There it is. Whoops. Almost tried to dash away from it. I'm surprised we didn't go high there. So we're always waiting for the Sheik to come out with a move and then see if Sheik is going to shield, put out another move, move back. There's our platform. Again, Sheik's going to love going to platform because uh, that's going to allow Sheik to... Uh, Dodge our edge on or our attacks afterwards, our lasers even. Oh, try to wave land. I'm gonna unstale um, our other moves a little bit there with laser. Doesn't mind if we st doesn't really matter if we stale laser. Of course, it's gonna stun a little bit less. That's okay. So it's okay to get hit by the edge of the moves here. Getting hit by the edge of F tilt, less okay. And of course we just down air, down air. Now of course she can slide off this down air. So we have to make sure we keep that in mind too. There's a cheek landing coming in with the F tilt. Okay, we're gonna go for grab. Whoops. And as you can see, if you're if you're even slightly off early percent, she can just go for a quick reversal. Whoops. So there's our kind of a mix-up, right? She full hopping, going to a uh, top platform. We're kind of calling. We can kind of see that happening there. So of course, what's she doing to mix that? Just coming down with forward air. Don't have to overcomplicate it. And that's going to be a close forward smash, which is going to get the reverse hitbox. And of course, jab forward smash is going to seal it there. Now, Sheik is going to be able to get out of a lot of pressure on Dreamland. But on stage like Final Destination, going to be much harder. Much, much harder for Sheik to get out here. I mean, look at how much harder I'm hitting the Sheik already, right? Like, I was, I was able to zero death the Sheik here. I wasn't getting long combos like that on Dreamline. Just going to show you the power of stage to interact with everything here. Now, Sheik is also not going to get platforms to... Uh... Also not going to get platforms. Oops. Messed that up. Not platforms to uh, change her. Oh, nice. We we'll just laser grab there. Very strong option when someone's cornered. Whoa, oh, messed that up a little bit. That's okay. We can just jab up, smash. That is a high enough percent. That's gonna be a bit of a fox combo as well. So yeah, you can kind of use that. The percent is much higher than what fox can do, of course, but you can still do it. Oh, whoops. So 
As you can see, she can get the shield out there. Uh, we're just going to kind of go for it anyway, just to kind of uh, pressure. And we didn't get the inside hitbox, which is great for us. I think if she held down, we probably would have gotten that. Of course, we can just down tilt there. And you can also kind of mix if you want to shine there, if you think like the percent's not quite high enough for it, down tilt. Oh. Crazy SDI, you guys see that? And of course, we see that Sheik was coming up on the stage the same way every time, coming up around the outside. So what can you do there? Sheik has very many frames of vulnerability on the beginning of her up B. So you come out and then you can do a shine turnaround back here or you can rise up with a uh, downer. Now, of course, once Sheik uses her double jump, she can no longer come up with an aerial. That makes things much safer for you. So they did re require a call out on my part. But as you can see, we we're kind of seeing the habits kind of come together all around us there. So you can see the very big difference in stage that made Sheik not able to cancel my combos with platforms. Sheik not able to um, get on a platform, run off with an aerial, so she doesn't have to deal with her own awkward jump startup and hang time. She can just, um, she she just jumps, she hangs there, and then if I hit her, she's still hanging in the air, allows me to just come forward and pressure her even more when I push her up or out. And so that's very difficult for Sheik to kind of get down. So you can kind of see Dreamland being such a strong stage for Sheik in the matchup, FD being such a much weaker stage, not to mention Falco gets, gets so much laser more laser pressure as a result of uh, Sheik's um, inability to use platforms to dodge. Again, Sheik on a platform can throw out needles. We saw a little bit of that. Sheik didn't have access to the uh, full hop double jump mix up that we kind of caught up before too. If Sheik full hopped, I didn't have to say, will Sheik double jump? No, because if you double jump and Sheik, you can be in a very, very bad spot. No double jump. You can just get back aired, up tilted, and then pushed off the stage. So the Sheik didn't go for that, which was great. And so uh, that's a tough spot for them. And... Um yeah, so make sure that you're you're thinking about your stages wisely when you're pressuring these players and making sure when you're playing against Sheik on a stage like Dreamland, you're really, really careful about getting hit by the edge of forward tilt or getting hit or um, making sure you really know what they want to do when they land. Coming down with the landing is the important play. Kind of like when you're talking about when Marth throws out a move. What happens next? That's the important thing. You can't often punish outright. Even you saw a little bit of that on uh, FD as well. I tried to dash attack, punish it back here. Couldn't get it. So make sure you actually know what you can and can't punish. Anyway, GG's to my opponent. Thank you for playing. Uh, horse, you can drive. Thank you for the 15 months of prime. If you could do any Falco move to me IRL, what would you pick? Um, the grab. I want to hug you. Interesting. We're playing Falco Sheik Battlefield. Great stage for Sheik. Sheik going to be able to, uh, uh, dodge lasers really well. Doing it. I'll try to go around that. Try to come down with my laser. Now, of course, we want to make sure. Oops. I want to make sure that we're um, always pressuring Sheik here. We're going to make sure that, like, if Sheik's landing with a move, we're either hitting her or threatening to hit her. So she throws out a panic aerial. Well, I'll try to get my up tilt out. Sheik did go for a great fast fall there. Nice. Almost made it back. Probably could have SDI'd that and survived. Of course, that is going to be a missed uh, stall, so we're just going to go ahead and get in on the punish. Now, why is this stake good for Sheik? It's good. Well, I know it might not look so good there at the moment, but like, look at how well Sheik is going to be able to avoid all my needle or all my lasers. And look at um. Oh, try to get my dash out. Sheik's going to get punished on her uh on her lag there. But yeah, she can actually um. She can fall off the platform with a fair a needle on the platform to pressure me really well. That stuff's all going to be serving her in a strong fashion. Now we're going to be on Yoshi's, a lower platform. Going to be easier for me to pressure and hit. So unfortunately, I let Sheik roll out of the corner. That's why you have to be very careful when pressuring in the corner. Make sure we patrol Randall there. Of course, we could hit Sheik a little bit early to avoid that. I'll try to get my uh, try to get that out in time. Okay, so get up attack not working out in our favor. <laughs> That's funny. They didn't want to roll. Oh, 
Almost. I need a second dash. You can kind of see me stalling there. There's that fast fall down there that did trip me up before. Stay under the platform and you're okay. Oh, good crouch. Almost. Of course, she may have been holding down there as well. Forward smash is going to chump check that sometimes, and you can mix that with down air. Oh, that's not a wave dash. Notice I'm going for early aerial because I really don't want to get forward tilted. That's almost coming out and hitting me. You have to be very careful as Falco to avoid that. Oh, got stuck. Oh, got stuck. <laughs> Tech skill, very important. Tech skill, very important, as you can kind of see. So, of course, what kind of was the difference maker there? When the Sheik land, they would often try and throw out their forward tilt. And so I would just be doing early attacks. Because the Sheik wasn't holding down, I could just kind of get away with an early nair. Now, of course, if they were holding down, I would just do an early downer instead so I could try and cross them up. I actually tried to do that at the beginning of Battlefield. Got grabbed for it, I believe, because I didn't quite go far enough. But anyway, you get the idea. So... When you're playing against Sheik, you have to make sure that you're trying to either do like an early aerial to catch her out when she's trying to go for that forward tilt, wait and see if the Sheik won't for, walk forward tilt or dash attack, or try and go for um, like a space move, like a back air. So you're kind of like covering off, you're cutting off dash attack, but you're still kind of patrolling for back air, or you're just putting out a laser. So you kind of want to just reset and then you can kind of go for a grab um, if you're waiting, kind of seeing how things are going to turn out as well. So of course, I'm not really doing all of these things because mostly I just want to make sure I can get the aerial. I like hitting the aerial. I think I like the aerial beating some jumps out of shield. I like the aerial beating um, the F tilt. And of course, I uh, don't want to get dash attacked because sometimes you notice when I do wait, the Sheik will just come and hit me with the edge of the F tilt. A little bit difficult to uh, handle. So sometimes it forces me to play a little bit farther away from Sheik, which means I can't threaten so much. She can then wave dash back or full hop away. So I have to kind of weave around that range really intelligently. And it can be hard to do sometimes. That's kind of where you need to play as Falco. Anyway, when I'm hitting Sheik into the air, I'm uh, shine down airing, and then sometimes when I'm not able to get it any longer, I don't try. I just like, I'll take an up air, I'll take a back air, push Sheik towards the edge. When I'm pushing Sheik towards the edge, when she double jumps over me, she's not able to do a mix-up where she can change which side of me she's on, or where are doing a bunch of like down air edge cancel mix-ups. All she can really do is like do a down air or try and go for an air dodge, things like that. Of course, I can just be closer to the middle of the stage, back air her back off, or back air her the other way. You saw me actually catch Sheik out with a lot of these uh, landing lags from down air, which is coming up with back air. Kind of difficult to time but if you kind of know the sheik's rhythm timing you can kind of just uh call that out um with your back here push sheik back off the stage obviously much better at like higher percents low percent sheik is just going to get out of the punish so you don't want to default to that if you like down or shine and then you want to go for it so try and just keep hitting sheik if you can but hopefully some of that stuff makes sense to you guys and um yeah ggs to my opponent